There are strong indications that after six years in Europe, Facundo Campazzo is finally ready to make the leap to the NBA. Having won every Spanish trophy and the EuroLeague title with Real Madrid, as well as a second place finish at the 2019 FIBA World Championships with Argentina, the 29 year old playmaker is garnering attention from several NBA teams. We will examine Campazzo's game with an in depth analysis and try to paint a more clear picture of what sort of player the NBA will potentially be getting. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button below to stay updated on all the latest content from Edu Basketball. Many close followers of the international game consider Campazzo as one of the best playmakers and passers outside the NBA. Standing at just 5 foot 11, what he lacks in size, he's able to make up with his vision and decision making, which are at a world class level, and they allow him to make reads like very few can. His eyes are constantly surveying the floor and the options materializing in front of him. He has an intuition and feel that make it seem as if he's always one step ahead of the play and able to deliver the ball with incredible precision and accuracy. We see him sneak an early peek to see where his teammate is in the transition. Without looking back again, he drops him a left-handed pass that looks simple but is remarkably risky and difficult. The ability to deliver a variety of passes with either hand is a theme that we will see throughout this video, and Campazzo is able to accomplish that going full speed and hitting teammates in stride. He never telegraphs his passes, instead he uses his eyes to shift and throw off defenders and get them leaning before he makes the play. At his size, not only is his vision reduced, but the angles and passing windows are very tight. He's able to negate these issues by putting passes where defenders have no chance to deflect and get their hands on them. He zips passes right by the heads and ears of opponents with an extremely quick release and they have a very hard time disrupting his timing and accuracy. With his crafty and shifty attacks, he's able to get into tight spaces and still make high level decisions with multiple defenders around him. Using a pass fake to get two defenders leaning in the wrong direction, he creates a wide open opportunity for a teammate at the rim. A simple floppy set with action away from the ball becomes even more potent because of his vision and ability to read defenses and to put the ball exactly where his teammate can catch it for an easy finish. In this clip, the defender switches the action and without seeing the ball, he has no idea that he is already in a compromised situation. Campazzo delivers a one-handed bullet pass that lands right on target. The ability to survey multiple moving parts at the same time and make the right read is a skill that puts him in an elite category. However, what separates and puts him near the top of the rare group of playmakers are his decision making and creativity in the pick and roll. He's a pick and roll magician, able to deliver passes to any teammate on the floor regardless of what coverage the defense throws at him. Building a synergy with the screening big is a crucial aspect of successful pick and roll play. Composo is always aware of where the roller is and is keen on getting involved early in the game. A big that puts pressure on the rim forces the defense to collapse, from there the rest of the pick and roll attack can be developed. As always, Composo is reading the D and adjusting the passes that he's throwing in order to put his big man in the best position to catch and finish with the least amount of resistance. The main purpose of a ball screen is to put two defenders on the ball which means that on the back side, one defender has to cover two offensive players. Taking one extra probing dribble as he comes off the ball screen gives the big time to roll and clear the tagging corner defender who's staying with the shooter. Having established a rim rolling big, Campazzo is now able to spray passes out to shooters on the perimeter and punish the defense for collapsing too deep. His ability to deliver passes across his body with one hand makes it very difficult to anticipate where he's throwing and when. Because of his size, in order to get the ball out to the perimeter, he has to get rid of passes early to create the best passing angles. Having the ability to attack with both hands and being able to pass going both ways makes it very difficult for the defenses to influence him in one direction. Mid pick and roll defense in the NBA will frequently push the ball handler to his weak hand in order to force him to play away from his strengths. In Campazzo's case, this is not a problem because of his complete passing package. In the case that he does get caught in traffic with seemingly no way out, he has a remarkable knack for finding an open teammate and getting him the ball with a pinpoint delivery. Even a zone defense poses very little threat to his pick and roll execution. Campazzo keeps the defense in the dark by never giving away the read with his eyes. He looks one way to get the bottom defender to shift which leaves the corner cutter wide open at the rim. Pass first point guard becomes easier to defend because opponents know that he is not attacking to score but rather to pass. Even though Campazzo has never been a volume scorer, 
He's able to keep defenses honest by putting pressure on the rim. With a quick first step and change of direction moves, he creates separation and space to get to the basket. Because he's undersized and doesn't possess great vertical athleticism, Compazzo has to negate these shortcomings with guile and deception. He possesses terrific body control, balance, and a soft touch around the rim. Much like his ability to deliver passes, he's able to finish in a variety of ways at the basket. He throws off the timing of shot blockers with same foot, same hand, high arcing finishes. Also, by utilizing the glass, he's able to add more angles from which he can complete plays. Even among the elite players in the NBA, weekend finishes are fairly limited, even more so as they move further back from the rim. Pazzo has shown that he's more than capable as a finisher with his left hand and is able to extend further out and use a high arcing soft finish. In a game of length and athleticism, understanding who you are is crucial in increasing efficiency and effectiveness. Compazzo is able to avoid disadvantage situations by utilizing his touch and extending his finishes further from the rim thanks to a precise floater and runner. He's able to eliminate rim protectors by attacking them out of their comfort zone. Having said that, because he depends on touch and finesse to complete plays at the basket, it means that those are lower percentage shots. Extended twos are not the same value as direct rim finishes. Even though he has a multitude of ways of completing plays, he's overall a below average finisher when we look at his stats closer. He has hovered around 43% from the field during the last few seasons in Europe. Over 50% of his shot attempts come from beyond the arc, so it's important to evaluate that closely and how it translates to NBA context. He is a 38% shooter from three-point range, and most of those come on the move, off the dribble, and with a high level of contest. Campazzo has a quick release, shoots the ball with a lot of confidence, and is not afraid to let it fly even in the biggest moments in tightly contested games. He has faced current NBA defenders on numerous occasions at FIBA competitions, and his percentage against those teams is around 35% from deep. Against bigger and more athletic defenders at the NBA level, as well as the extended distance of the line, there is certainly an expectation that we may see a drop in the percentage. Offensively, the scoring is certainly the secondary feature to his playmaking. Even if there are question marks about his ability to score at the NBA level, his passing will relieve those. However, the biggest concern and question marks will lie on the defensive end and his ability to contain what is arguably the deepest position in the NBA. He is able to make plays with his instincts and quickness to get his hands on balls and force turnovers. He moves his feet well and is savvy enough to navigate his way around screens and spurts to get out and contest shots. If we focus on his defense against the highest end European guards, it gives us a good sample of what we can expect when he defends backup and third option point guards. Mike James, who spent two years in the NBA, has no trouble using his burst and strength to get a hit by Composito on his way to the rim. Similarly, we see him have a very tough time keeping Shane Larkin out of the paint. The former first round pick is an elite level scorer in Europe and he becomes a nightly type of matchup Composito can expect in the NBA. Strong and dynamic guards seem to have very little difficulty getting to their spots and finishing against the smaller Argentinian. Alexi Shved spent three years in the NBA and is now the second leading scorer in the EuroLeague behind Larkin. Bigger point guard with a scoring touch, Shved is able to finish with very little resistance. Defending bigger and stronger guards is certainly a weak point for Campazzo, and he can count on being put in space to defend on a consistent basis in the NBA. His size makes it difficult for him to keep strong and aggressive attackers off their driving lanes. Off the ball, there's also room for growth. He has a tendency to play out of stands and ball watch, which leaves him prone to getting hit by screens. In the pick and roll, he flies around the screens with a variety of quick spin moves, but in the end he gets hit and taken out of place on a regular basis. He has a tendency to go under screens at a high rate, which often leaves him with a longer closeout to get back to his man. At 5'11", he doesn't have the luxury of covering ground quickly to get back to contest. The difference between JJ Barea and other undersized international point guards that have left the NBA after short stints is the ability to stay on the floor without being exposed defensively. Any weakness or liability becomes the attacking point of the opposition. Compazzo's offense and passing genius will undoubtedly give him an opportunity to get on the floor. The big question mark is can he stay engaged defensively on the ball and contain it with a level of quality that will allow him to carve out regular minutes in a role for the long run. 
Thanks for joining us in today's film session. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button below to stay updated on all the latest content.